You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. By now you know, uh, Miles Brennan has ended his football career. Uh, he is not entering the transfer portal. He is not looking to play somewhere else in 2022 or head off to the NFL. Miles Brennan is just finished with football. Whenever we got into uh, practice this morning, it was uh, evident. Uh, the first thing most of the media does is go right to where the quarterbacks are. Uh, and there were only four. It was Jaden Daniels, Garrett Nussmeyer, Walker Howard, and one of the walk-ons who was there as well. There was an obvious omission with no Miles Brennan. Uh, we learned a short time later, as LSU did in fact confirm that Miles Brennan not only uh, has left the team, but he is um, retiring from football. He will not play any longer. Uh, Brian Kelly did tweet a message from his uh, Twitter account earlier today. We are grateful to Miles for everything he's done for LSU football. Miles is a great leader who has made a tremendous impact on this program, and he has earned the respect of everyone here throughout his commitment and love for LSU. Miles has always embodied the traits required to fulfill our mission to graduate champions, and we have full confidence those traits will help him succeed at every step of his journey moving forward. So, um, you know, last week when we had the full access to practice and... Um, it was evident that Miles Brennan was was running third. Uh, talk here, and, and the observation I made, which clearly proved to be a, a, a correct one, uh, unfortunately, was that Miles just seemed very disinterested. And for a guy that was in his sixth year, who had battled so much adversity, who, I mean, this is it, there, there should have been urgency the most important position on the field, the oldest guy on the team, the guy who's been through it all, he should have been the one that was loud and vocal and leading the drills, and, and it just wasn't there. He was very much going through the motions. I want to be very clear. That is not a criticism. I want to be so abundantly clear that is not a criticism. It's just an observation, an observation that proved to be correct. Um, I, Let me take some time here to kind of go through all the questions a lot of people have. The, the why now, the what's next, the what does it mean for the quarterback position, the thoughts on Brennan's career. I want to go through all of it. But first, just sincere appreciation uh, for the perseverance that Miles Brennan showed throughout his LSU career. Because that dude has been through a lot. Y'all, a lot. When you think about the fact that Miles Brennan committed to Les Miles and Cam Cameron showed up here and Matt Canada was his first offensive coordinator. You had the head coach and the OC fighting in practice. Was there for the loss to Troy. Decided to just take one for the team in red shirt in 2018 to set up the future of the program that was very much a selfless team center decision that he made. Backed up Joe Burrow in 2019. 2020, of course, was supposed to be his year. We know what happened. Three weeks in, three straight games of 300 yards passing. That had never happened to an LSU quarterback for his first three starts in history. And then he rips his ab abdominal muscle and loses the remainder of the season. He comes back for 2021. He's going to battle Max Johnson for the job. And we know what happens. Well, Right on the eve of training camp, he breaks his arm in a freak accident when he, he fell down out on a fishing trip. And now this. Uh, <laughs> Matt Can uh, Cam Cameron, Matt Canada, Steve Ensminger, Jake Peets, <laughs> Les Miles, Ed Ogeron, Brian Kelly. That dude has seen it all. He's been through a tremendous amount and he deserves a ton of admiration for his perseverance. There are a lot of players that battle injury and persevere through a lot, but rarely is it at quarterback where it's so high profile. I, look, I'll bring up Andre Anthony. Yeah, well, Andre Anthony just finished his sixth year at LSU a year ago, and three he came back for a sixth year. 
a guy who redshirted his first year because he was coming off a knee injury in high school, tore his ACL, and missed his entire second season as well, battles back to become a contributor and a really good player, decides to come back for a sixth season after COVID, and three games in, boom, injury, done for the season again. Andre Anthony battled through a lot. The emotional reaction from the fans isn't what it is today for Brennan. It's not because Andre Anthony wasn't a great Tiger. It's just that Miles Brennan is more high-profile playing quarterback. So uh, I understand why it is what it is. A lot of people have asked, why now? Let's go through some of the timeline just to reset, to, to remind you of how this all transpired. Miles Brennan was, gonna, was the starter in 2020. He gets injured. Finley and Johnson both play. So Brennan entering, tw- Finley transfers before 2021. Brennan's spot as the starter was not solidified. He was going to have to compete with Max Johnson in 2021 to win the job. Well, of course, Brennan gets injured. Johnson starts the whole season. So LSU had an incumbent, and Miles entered the transfer portal in November. Last November, Miles Brennan entered the transfer portal. Of course, we all know Ed Ogeron was fired. Brian Kelly was hired. And then Max Johnson entered the portal. So LSU was left with one scholarship quarterback. It was Garrett Nussmeyer. So as you remember, Brian Kelly had a conversation with Miles Brennan. And this is what Brian Kelly said as a reminder. Actually, could you please play the Brennan conversation with Brian Kelly, please? One of the questions I asked him, obviously, was, you know, well, what's the offensive philosophy? What's your mindset, your scheme? Well, obviously, you don't have an offensive coordinator hired yet, but like, what, are you, what are you thinking? And he pretty much told me, like, look, this is my offense. I, I'm coaching it. Um, I'm in the quarterback room every day with the quarterback. And he pretty much just said, look, I've been doing this for 30-plus years. I can do anything that we need to do to win the game. So I really I, I base it a lot of around personnel and who we have and, and the quarterback and what the quarterback does best. And the quarterback and I will have, you know, a really good relationship. And it'll be, what do you like, what do you don't like? And then, you know, we can bounce ideas off of each other. He was like, and I, you know, I, I've done everything. And so that's kind of really the limit. Uh, he was like, I just want to have a chance to to see who we have at certain positions and, and see where we need to get some guys and, and then really start to build the foundation of the offense. You know, and when he said that, it was just like, there's no limitations to this offense. There's- so Miles Brennan was excited. Brian Kelly said to Miles Brennan, look, you're going to have to compete for a job wherever you go. Why not compete here? So on December the 16th, Miles Brennan sent out the tweet. It was the Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not leaving. Uh, GIF, and Brennan said, there's no place like home. Let's ride Tiger Nation. People were excited. Brennan was coming back, and he very much became the sentimental favorite, of course. So, so subsequent to that, LSU added Jaden Daniels, and that's really what changed. At that point, it was evident what this offense was going to be. It's also worth mentioning that the transfer market wasn't that robust for Miles Brennan. And that's something that covering this sport and this team was very obvious. Miles Brennan had a lot of of group of five opportunities. He had group of five opportunities. But the the power five opportunities and the power five opportunities to start were non-existent. The power five opportunities to come in and compete were lean. So Brennan looked at it and said, well, I could just stay home and, and try to compete for a job, which is what he did. There's one other thing I want to address for certain before I move it any further. And it's the idea, and I've seen this a lot today in a lot of the comments on social media posts and whatnot. And it's not to say that social media is representative of everything, but if someone's thinking, a lot of people are thinking it. Miles Brennan is neither a quitter nor is he soft. I've heard too much of that today. First things first, let me remind you that the kid played half of a football game with a torn abdominal. I can't even imagine how excruciating that must have been to continue throwing a football with a torn abdominal muscle. But he did. An injury that cost him the whole season. He played half a game with it. As far as Miles being a quitter, I just went through everything through which he's persevered during his career. The reality is, y'all, Miles Brennan doesn't love football. It's not his first love, and that's okay. When Joe Burrow would be in the film room, Miles Brennan was in the deer stand. It's okay to have a diversity of of interests and loves and passions. 
Miles loves to hunt and fish, and he's now engaged. And he's going to be a husband. And all of those things matter a lot in his world. And football is one of the things he loves, but it's not the thing that he loves. And it's not the thing he needs either. So all of that together has led you to this point. A lot of people have said, hey, hopefully he gets a shot at the combine. No, like, this is it for Miles Brennan. Think about what I was telling you last week at practice, that burning fire, it's evident it's not there anymore. And if that's the case, man, you had a good run. A lot of things didn't go your way, but you're still a national champion. You got to quarterback the LSU Tigers. And you you move on with life. And it's okay to make that decision. Not everybody wants to go play 15 years in the NFL and grind their life away for that goal. If you do, great. But that's not where Miles is in his life, and it quite honestly was never where he was in his life, at least as long as we've known him. You know, Brennan's career at LSU will boil down to a lot of what-ifs. What if Matt Canada got his way in 2017? And, and Ed Ogeron said, okay, we'll start the kid. Maybe Joe Burrow never ends up here. What if he didn't get injured in 2020? Does Max Johnson or TJ Finley stay or do both leave after 2020? Does one of them stay, one of them leave? Does Brennan start 2020 and 2021? Does Brennan leave after 2020? Who knows? But there's so many what-ifs that you could play with that butterfly effect around Miles Brennan's career, and I understand why there's there's always that curiosity because of the, the unknown. But Miles Brennan's a fan favorite. Y'all, a couple of weeks ago on this show, if you remember, we ran a poll. And the question was, who do you want to be the LSU starting quarterback? It wasn't who do you think. It wasn't who you think's best. It was who do you want to be the starting quarterback? And 50% of you, half, 5-0, 50% of you said Miles Brennan. Garrett Nussmeyer was next at 36%. He's the sentimental favorite. People wanted the storybook ending for Miles Brennan. And I understand that completely. But the reality is, he got dealt a heavy dose of bad luck and just wasn't good enough to overcome it when they had other competition behind him. It's not to say that he isn't a good player, couldn't have been a good player, but what this coaching staff wanted is not what he was able to do. That's an observation I've shared with you many times, and a lot of you push back against it, but you've seen the reality of it today. And the other thing I'll tell you is that this is why quarterbacks transfer. This is why guys typically don't stay. Not everybody gets the Matt Flynn dream storybook scenario where you wait five years, you finally get your chance, and you hoist a natty. That's the outlier. That's the exception. That's not the rule. And Miles Brennan learned that. I'm not saying he has any regrets. The guy won a national championship backing up Joe Burrow. He was a part of the greatest college football team ever. He got to represent the state of Louisiana and LSU as a quarterback and is a beloved figure and will forever be someone that people respect a lot associated with this program. He never got to be the starting quarterback for a full season to see what that may look like, and that stinks. I wish it would have happened for him and for everyone to have the opportunity to see him do that. But ultimately, when you wonder why guys decide to transfer, this is why. And it's why you shouldn't criticize young men or women in whatever sport when they have the opportunity to do that, to seek a better opportunity for themselves. So Miles Brennan is done with football. For LSU, they move forward. Garrett Nussmeyer, Jaden Daniels, Walker Howard, three scholarship quarterbacks left on the roster. The Tigers will have a scrimmage in Tiger Stadium on Wednesday, which is scheduled to be completely open to the media in its entirety. At that point, we should have a much better idea about what direction this offense is going to go with either Nussmeyer, Daniels, or maybe both as they head toward the season opener against Florida State. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.